Alright guys, we have just seen a long cutscene and we have seen the blessed arrows, or the light arrows we could say. And we will see if Zelda can slow Gandalf down with the arrows so you can hit him with your sword while you are doing the horseback riding. And unfortunately I had a lot of issues getting uh, ch no, chasing him instead of him chasing me. So as you can see I'm starting bad there. But after all, a long time, I took him down very quickly, once you get the first hit on him, if you're after him, you will take him down easily. It takes some time to get him there. So get back on him, and just set targeting, and let Zelda shoot at him. I think you can still have this thing as possible. Hit him with a sword like four times, I told him. He's almost getting him down here with his attack where he is when the soldiers appear. A really bad hit. <laughs> that will make him chase you instead of you chasing him. So there is a short, short battle because I cut down all the long death periods. <laughs> and I hope you will enjoy this little cutscene that will be lasting for about a minute now. We are into the Dark Lord Ganondorf's battle now. The final phase of this long battle. And what you have to do is just press the A at the right time as he attacks you. And then it says chance and A. And when he jumps like this behind you, do a roll attack forward. Like the opposite direction of where he's coming from of course though. And now I'm almost timing it better. But that's almost, that's not helping, and if you get too close, he will try to kick you or hit you with his sword and push you, etc. It can be rather annoying when it comes to that. And I'm just waiting for him to do another chance to me. Because at the third one, I'm gonna hit him. And here I'm just doing a little side jumping thing. And he's trying to get onto me again. It's very easy to not get hit by, actually, if you know his attacks, that is. It's kind of hard just timing this chance. And just set targeting him so you know where he, where he is. Usually, you will, see, you will be seeing him, and now I'm doing it the right way. Press the A button as much as possible, as it says, and just attack him, slash onto him. We go and he goes down for the first time. He has to do it a few more times, and this battle will be, will be lasting for about approximately four minutes. And he can be doing that trick as well, which is rather annoying. I'm not sure if you can use the shield attack to block it or not. I didn't even 
react on it somehow. I did not even think about it. And there you see, he can uh, be rather annoying when it comes to doing the chance or not chance. And I think I'll be using a fairy quite soon. Just to recover some of my, some of my health. It's very quick when it comes to close combat, so yeah, be aware of it. And now it seems like he's going to do another um, attack onto me, huh? And I think I'm getting hit as well. If I did not react quickly enough, there we go. And he's very good when it comes to close combat, also defending himself. He's indeed one of the better at close combat. Sant was just a pushover when it comes to Dark Lord Gandalf, just comparing them. And I know also that in some one of these skull heads around here, there will be a fairy hidden for those who need it. And now, do the right chance. This will be my second uh, success. And attack him, stash as much as possible onto him. I did also a, a little jump attack there, which did not affect on him at all. But we are getting close now to the end. We are very close to killing him. And of course I did not time it there. He hasn't hit me once from the backside. And there we go the right time we're chancing and we will attack him and we will make him stay down now at the third time. Enjoy the long cutscene and the upcoming last video, the sixth video will be just about the credits and a little cutscene in it as well which will show what happens to Midna, Link and Zelda somehow. So enjoy the rest of the videos and thanks for watching this walkthrough.
Hot for a blue horse? 